I think we have to deal with that issue with capital. We, we go and, yes, capital. Because at the end of the day, with all these brilliant ideas, mm -hmm. if people don't have access to it, mm -hmm. people's ideas end up in their books. Mm -hmm. Because I've met too many people who have told me, Cyrus, this is what I'm developing. Yeah. This is what I'm working on for the last three years. Yeah. I've gotten to the stage where I have to go bigger. bigger. I don't have the funding. Yes. I don't have any source of, you know, Sure. And sure. so they are unable to do it. Yes. And then you see a foreigner come into the country, mm -hmm. goes directly into that same business. He has money. He has the money yes. and yes. takes over the space. Yeah. And then eventually the local content is dead. Fantastic. It kills him off. Fantastic. Fantastic. Because of the economies of scale, Fantastic. he benefits. Fantastic. Um, 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 next, sometime yeah. next week, okay. I am meeting a group of young men. Okay. One of them started a yogurt, um, you know, should I call it business. All right. She's gotten to a point and she's stuck. There is this other young person who has heard about it and wants to invest. So we are now at table discussing how he could invest. Okay. So the lady doesn't have it. Okay. But the young man has it. So rather than take a loan, okay, we are we want to get involved. Okay. We want to get, get some shares. equities. Get equity. That is something we have not exploited in this country. Right. We have not exploited because we have a certain kind of attitude. And you know the attitude. We want to own decide, it all. Oh my goodness. We are the owner. And so even when we are struggling, the sentimental attachment that we have to our businesses make us not able to even open up. But, uh, uh, Cyrus, what has Warren Buffett been doing? <laughs> that he has become so rich. <laughs> what has he been doing? Stocks. Ah, people's businesses. Right. They start, then he <clears> goes into it. He goes to invest. He goes to invest. He's now 94. And most part of his um, life, that's what he's been doing. They call him the sage of Omar. Right. And he's there investing in people's businesses. But here in this country, it is not something we do. Look, let me tell you. I went to a place that I normally go to to take my favorite fufu. Okay. I asked them. How come we have a lot of uh, papayas and KFCs and McDonald's and you have only one? Mm. Meanwhile, this business, you are telling me that your, uh, your grandmother set it up in somewhere 1965. And you have not thought of expanding. Mm. Why do we have business phenomenon and concepts and principles and entities and vehicles like franchise. Right. You don't need to be the one going to do it all. Franchising. We were taught this in JSS. Mm -hmm. I remember that the JSS that I attended, they used to teach us commerce. Okay. And that is where I learned for the first time the theory and concept of franchise. It was to make us know that if Cyrus has a business, and the business has gotten a goodwill right. and has gained reputation. And people are chasing Cyrus. But Cyrus cannot expand because of financial and other resource limitations. Some other person who has resource may come in and then go and replicate the same business under the name of Cyrus's business and enjoy their reputation and goodwill at Adenta. Business is expanding. But we have not taken advantage of that in this country. Do we practice franchising? In this There's country? so much we can talk on this subject, so, on this platform. So, so, I, I hope so. you will make time for us. Hey, yes, 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 yes. You know, I have told you that there should never be a disadvantage. There should never be a, a hindrance. Right. Once there is, a, the, the, the French says that uh, where there is a will. There is a way. There is a way. I've forgotten mm. how it is said in French. Mm. But wherever there is a way. And so for me, I think that um, let's talk the, the politics. Let's talk the religion. Let's talk the lifestyle. But let's also talk business. Mm. With intense passion. I like football. Okay. But whenever I hear people say that football is the passion of this nation, I said, are we joking? How can football be the passion of this country? Yeah, I mean, yes, it's, football is good. How much do we make even out of football? Look at EPL. They make so much money. Mm. Such like that they can pay the players, some of them weak. Our players, go and ask them how much we pay them. A country that says that football is our passion. So, so, so why should we even con concern ourselves with advantages that people have? We have abandoned our advantage 
and we are following other people's it's like you throwing away your 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 talent and going after someone else cyrus you talk good this is what you have to be doing and then you, you abandon it to go and then say poems or go and sing when you know that you are not there that is the problem with this country when people were making business the fulcrum of their lives we sat here and said that football was our passion and we didn't even develop it oh my goodness. to we make it a real math, business math, 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 math. Mouth. Why are we not growing the footballers? Right. We had their babies. Where are their babies? Where are the Tanya boys? Why didn't we grow? So the fact that a baby came from a certain area may tell you that maybe that talent is there. Mm. So why don't we go and grow the people so that we multiply our babies? We multiply Tanya boys. We multiply uh, uh, um, Stanley Abra. Why don't we have them now? Those days, Ghana. If you were to meet Ghana in any football match, you had to go and pray. Today, countries like Ecuador and those places, they are beating us. This is Ghana. Are we still the giant soccer giant that we <laughs> Because we, we don't approach things from a business perspective. Go and see our sports TV. Is that a, a business minded, a, a, any business minded person who wants to go into football will have this? Go and see the stadium that uh, Aston Villa has built. The fence there. And this, this one, the whole country. And so I'm saying that we need to talk about business. Mm. Because when we talk about business, then we will approach the things we do from a purely business perspective. I will say this last. In 2006, when we were in China, we met some investors. And they were asking us, about um, rotos in Ghana. Okay. And then when we mentioned, they said, oh, 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 you know your people. So, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we were taking a... <laughs> peanuts. Peanuts. Mm. So for, for, for how many years have we been thinking about constructing or upgrading the Accra Kumasi road to be a dual, a real dual? But this one, some 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 uh, medium scale construction company in China can build Accra Kumasi two years. From a business perspective, Mount uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Mount uh, what do you call it? Where we take the monies? The, the, you mean the counters? The tolls. The tolls. And make good money, <clears throat> provide security, provide good lighting. Go and see our roads. Darkness darkness because we still look at the roads as oh, social amenities so we can't invent so much in it give it to a commercial person give it to a business minded person they will do it like they have done the nairobi mombasa railroad mm. they did it for two and a half years and here we are all the railway system collapsed collapsed because we are not approaching things from a business perspective. And so, Cyrus, we have a lot to discuss. And uh, for our young people who may be watching, the business space is exciting. Mm. They should damn the problems. Mm. They should not listen too much about the negatives. Let's look at the possibilities. Mm. Me, wherever I go to, I look at the, 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 the I mean, I look at what business can I you know, wherever I, what, what business? And I'm telling you, look, I met a group of chiefs. They have land. So I said, I asked them, do you know the size of your land? They don't know. Do you know what you can use your land for? Right. They don't know. All they know is that they have plenty of land. Oh, we can get 200 for you. But what does the land do? So I said, some of the lands that you sell, can't you apply the proceeds to engage a soil scientist to come and conduct a soil test so that they can tell you that this land, you can use it for A, B, C. And that with that report, you can go to Singapore African, African Singapore Business Forum and then tell some agriculturists that we have 200 acres of land that you can cultivate cashew. Wouldn't they come? That would sound great to them. Wouldn't they come? Or get some other people, uh, I don't know who they are, 
to come and test the soil. Maybe they're receiving gold, they're receiving uh, oil. So that with that, you would know how you can drive development to your place. I have been working on the project. It took Dangote to identify that parcel of land. It is in the Bono East region. 2,400 hectares of land could be used for sugar cane plantation. But the people have been there for years. Their forefathers, their ancestors, they are all aware that that parcel of land is there. But it took Nigeria's Dangote to identify that parcel of land as a potential ground for cultivating sugarcane and then set up a refinery. And we are here. We buy sugar. Eat sugar like something. Go to Brazil, buy sugar. Meanwhile, we have land that we can cultivate and produce our own. Look at uh, Nsawam area, that mm. enclave. Right. Was it not an industrial place? Is that not where we had the Nsawam Canary? Right. Do you know that by the time that the Nsawam Canary collapsed, Ghana, we were canning garden eggs. Hmm? We were in cats. We were canning snails. We were canning all manner of vegetables. Today, we have built all over the place. Land that we can use for agriculture, we are now using it to build. Because now everybody wants to own a house. So they don't care. We don't care. Instead of building up, we are building this way. We don't care which land we build on. We need to talk about that. Mm. So uh, it will all depend on you. Exactly, mm. exactly. So, so I'm saying, let's talk business. Okay. It is very, very important. Why? When you go to CNN, don't you see Quest means business? Right. Yes, he talks about business, and I'm saying that if we are able to develop the business environment. This unemployment program, it will go down small. We mm. cut down imports. You know how much of rice we consume in this country? Mm. So much. The next time I come, I'll bring some of these reports. Sometimes when I sit and I read, I say, oh, this country can consume that much. One point something million metric tons of rice we consume in this country. And how much of it do we produce? Sometimes half. And then the half is brought by some other people and they make money and we are poor because we have also created a certain taste for foreign businesses for foreign clothes for foreign food today when you go to our homes uh, local diet is none of our business mm. and when we are doing that aren't we creating business for other people of course the business that we're creating for them of this course business that we talk about. and then the, the last thing i want to say it is the two of us and the many others who would have to be talking about business this way. Because uh, I remember when President Kufo became president, he said that it is not the business of government to do business. Mm. So it is the two of us, private people, we have to talk business. We have to talk so much of business. Of course, government has a role to play. But I'm saying that Ghana is a good country. In our conversation, I want us to talk about even the legal and the regulatory regime that we have, very favorable, very favorable. Setting up a business in Ghana is not that difficult. In some other countries, you may struggle, but I'm saying that here in this country, it's not that difficult. And so we have to talk about that. Talk about the people. We are a welcoming people, very hospitable. So when people are coming to do business, in fact, we, 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 even, um, we even hello uh, foreigners. That is one thing that we have as an advantage, mm. you know. We are not very, we are not hostile people. That is an advantage. That can draw people into this country. We are. We are very hospitable. That is an advantage that we have. I see. Our cultures, notwithstanding the fact that we have a multiplicity of cultures, we have a convergent point. We are not seen as very different people. That was a problem that Singapore had, how to... You know, bringing the three bring, tribes exactly mm. but have we struggled no we haven't struggled so those barriers don't exist we all see ourselves as sort of one people occasionally we do some tribal something but it's not very paramount and grave in this country and so uh, before I, I i i go ghana is a good place i see i'm not saying that if there are problems we shouldn't talk about them 
but I'm saying that we shouldn't run a commentary that create the impression that Ghana is not. If Ghana were a bad country, why is Olam Olam in Ghana? Mm. Singaporean, right. they have been here for years. And they do so well. When we attend the conferences, business conferences, they come and say, oh, we have uh, Olam in Ghana, they're doing very, very well. So if somebody could do it for it to thrive, it means that there is something that we have missed or something that we are not doing right or something that we have to take cognizance of so that we can multiply the successes of other businesses. Why do the Chinese keep coming here? Why do the Indians keep coming here? Why do the Syrians keep coming here? Why does the Lebanon come here? In 2020, mm -hmm. I was assigned a duty by the Russian embassy to organize business people to go to Russia. And they told us that uh, a lot of people don't know a lot about Russia. And so they think that Russia is not a good place. They are very hostile. And so he said we should organize um, Ghanaian businesses and send them there. They had come to the understanding that they also needed to sell their country and talk good about their country. And I remember one of the things that the ambassador told me was that spare parts were cheaper in Russia than most other European and other Western countries. That's what he said. He was selling his country. Why can't we do the same for Ghana? Just about the time we were about leaving, then the COVID came. And that is why they still want to. I'm saying that even in the midst of war, Russia is organizing business for us. Saros, I won't say more. <laughs> I won't say any more. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I think this is the beginning of another great uh, 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 show we're going to be having, and I hope, I hope so. you make time to, to come. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Because there is so much questions that will come after this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People are going to watch this, and they are going to say, "Cyrus, we need to bring him back and ask all these other questions." Yes, 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 yes. Sir. And in fact, I myself, I have other things I wanted to ask, but mm -hmm. I know your time is 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 constrained for now. Uh -huh. So, so <coughs> let's let's uh, do it. Uh, Poco a poco. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, in communication, um, brevity, mm. brevity is mm. sometimes sweet. Right. You know? mm. If you talk too much, um, uh, so so for now. Um, um, for instance, can, for yes. instance, uh -huh. for instance, in business. Okay, so so uh, you you look at the dynamics we have in this country. Mm -hmm. The reason why Ghanaians consistently are so negative when talking about the conditions they are in in spite of the fact that foreigners see their opportunities. Mm. I've mentioned one as lack of capital funding for yeah. projects. But the, the other part of it, which is the, the opportunities that we talk about, it is not as if Ghanaians don't see it. Mm. It is not as if Ghanaians don't want to do that business, all of that. Mm. But there is no like real systems that support businesses in this country. Okay. In as much as everything you said is true, mm -hmm. There is an other aspect of this country where there is no real system. Let me give you an example. Okay. If you live in, I will not use a very developed country. Let me use, say, Malaysia, which is not too far away from us, even though they are far. Mm -hmm. They have platforms, which China is also using, so that when you have a business, if I manage to start a small business, I shouldn't be thinking about the delivery system. I shouldn't be thinking about the payment system. I shouldn't be thinking about collection of whatever yeah. or addressing system, this and that. Mm -hmm. So I plug my business into the system, which has been set up by big corporations, and off my business goes. So once people make purchase on my, net, my website or my platform or whatever, I am not concerned about how I get my money because I know where it will go. Mm -hmm. All these platforms that we need to set up in this country, we don't have. And so you have to make people pay on delivery. People have to bring the thing, you look at the thing, you supervise it, it's good, then you pay. Okay? All, there are a lot of things that I can identify to you and say, the systems in Ghana makes it almost impossible to do this kind of business, which Ghanaians are willing to difficult. do. Not almost impossible, let's say difficult. Okay, let, let's say, let's say, let's let's say, say difficult. difficult. Makes it very difficult mm -hmm. for... for so, 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 Cyrus, let's ask us. Mm. How was it possible for Uber to enter our system? Uber didn't, yes. Uber didn't come through the door. If Uber had come through the door, yes. like for instance in the UK, yes. Uber attempted to go to the UK. The UK government was stopping it. Mm -hmm. not, not only UK. Yes, the whole of Europe. Singapore even forced So they went through the, the window. Yes. Before they realized, the people mm -hmm. were now calling for Uber. So, 
so without a proper so company, you know, so set up in, in the so, UK. So there were windows. There were windows, yeah. but they didn't go through the doors. So, so, so you see, if there are windows, right, then you have to go through the windows. No, 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 no. Hold sometimes, on. Sometimes, hold on. Sometimes you cannot go through the door. If you go through the door, you will be noticed. So you go through the window. There is this um, story in the Bible. Jesus was uh, had visited somebody, and then uh, the place was choked. Right. They couldn't come through the door. Ah. They took him through the roof. Exactly. But Jesus <clears> had <throat> been teaching people that ask and you shall receive. Seek, you shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. And I have added the fourth one, even though the Bible says that we should. <laughs> I say that ask, it shall be given unto you. Seek, you will find. Knock, open. If you do all three and it fails, rip the roof. <laughs> 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 and that's exactly what those people did. They ripped the roof. Were they reprimanded by? No, Jesus? they were recommended. They were recommended, right? And I'm saying that. You see, that is even what makes business exciting when you see the near impossibilities that is what makes it exciting so what you have just spoken to me about the question the concern that you are raising that is also business we were in this country one day when uh alas and danny he was the ceo of uh, the stampic mm -hmm. if i get it <clears> wrong <throat> may i be forgiven but alas and danny is huge in the in the in, in the banking sector he said there was going to be a time in this country where there will be no banking halls. I sat there and I said, what are you talking about? How then could we do banking? How often do you go to bank now? Very seldom. How have we been able to do that? When governments, previous governments, decided to lay fiber optics in order to support the internet system, we were preparing for a day where we could do banking in the virtual space. So all the things that you are talking about, they are business areas that somebody could take advantage of. Y yes, that is what I mean. Uh, people want yeah. to take advantage yes. of it. Yes. Indigenous Ghanaians, mm -hmm. myself, we are looking for uh, opportunities. Mm -hmm. But the lack of capital, okay. this issue has okay. become the, the most difficult thing to get across. So, so let's ask ourselves that. Uh, so one, one day, maybe, one day, let's carry ourselves and go and have a conversation with Magdan. Where did he get the capital that he has <laughs> now built this empire? Right, right, right. I, 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 we hope to yeah, attract let's, him here someday. Let's carry ourselves <clears> and go <throat> to him and say, we have come to ask you, where did you get it from? Should I mention more names? I, I would love to hear more names. No, no, no. But there are more names. I would no. love to hear more. I, I know, know Magdan. I, I have your permission to ask them the X and the Ys. Because we know, we cannot say that there are people in this country, uh, there, there aren't people in this country who are doing huge businesses. Mm -hmm. Let's walk to them and ask them, how did you do it? Unfortunately, you know that one of the things we do not do, because it's not part of our culture, is that we don't talk about how we succeed. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk will make time and walk into a studio like this and have an interview. Right. Warren Buffett will do it. Amancio Ortega will do it. Right. Uh, who else will do it? Dangote will do it. Right. But in this country, you hardly will find successful business people avail themselves to tell us how they had, uh, they were able to get to where they have gotten to. So then it becomes something like a mystery. It mm. becomes something in the realm of the supernatural. That was what was happening many, many years ago. So anytime anybody became rich, they said, ah, well, this is mm. And people were working their ass out or off. Ass, uh, ass out. Yes, ass out in order to make money. Mm. They knew where they could go to. So, look, there was a time I met um, one of these successful people. I don't have his permission, so I'll mention it. He told me that um, he, when he, it comes to business, he looks at... The businesses that goes up and comes down. I said, what is that business? I said, oh, food. People take it and then mm. it goes out. It doesn't stay. So they want to take it again. So that is an area that he looks at. You know that the food industry. Let's ask ourselves, even, do we even recognize the areas where we can do so much of business? Food. We had asked for that if you... That is why during the COVID, when we shut all businesses, we said that as for food, yeah. no matter the but condition, we still have to. Everybody, every buys, day, <clears throat> everybody buys food, and that is an area. Sometimes, Cyrus, you may not have money. Let's ask ourselves: when we talk about capital, what do we mean by capital? 
For instance, land. So, 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 so For instance, land. Yeah, so For instance, equipment. Good. For instance, uh, yeah. what do you call money? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go and ask her. Ask for him. He is my brother. So I can mention his name. Kofi mm. Anoche. Oh, I see. How he became what he has become. Kofi Anoche will tell you that when he left university, he didn't have capital. He didn't have land to build the estates that he has mm. built. But he was there in the community, the hood. Okay. Whenever people wanted, uh, he was like an agent. Okay. So whenever people wanted a place to rent, then you say, oh, I know Mami has a messy. I know a person that's who has a room is renting. And then you go and take a small, no few commission, and then you will take it. And then as, as he goes along, and then people will come, oh, we have land. We want people to. And today, he has lands. So he started from somewhere. He didn't have the land. But he connected with the people who have it. I'm saying that sometimes you need to connect with the people who have the capital, not necessarily carrying money to it. But you see, if, for example, you walk to Adesso, you want to go and do farming, and then you don't have money to lease land, are you able to share your idea with somebody who has land that, you know what, I want to do this business, but I don't have money to lease the land? Can we do it together? I cannot sit here and think that it will work that easily. But it, can, it will also not be completely impossible for somebody to right. buy into your business idea. And right. say, okay, then let's set up a business together. TK and Cyrus. And then we put the name. I don't know how we are going. <laughs> uh, let's, let's merge our names. Then set up the deal. So you have the land. I have the idea. Mm. And then let's work together. That is also possible. So, you see, if we look at capital as, okay, capital means always money. Capital means always uh, land that you yourself should have. Sometimes I'm saying that capital can also be even social, I call it social capital. Okay. I know this man, he has this. Can I go and then, that is what they do. And all these giant companies that we have, how many of them are one person, one person? No. That is why I was talking about Warren Buffett. Mm. He does invest. In fact, I know a business in Ghana, and I have, I'm now studying about them, so I don't want to mention the name. I know that they have been investing in other people's businesses. So when people start businesses, then they come in and say that, well, we have money, and we want to invest, and they bring in capital. Yeah. They are bringing capital, and that is business. But we can sit and say that, oh, no, we can get capital, we can get land, we can get this. And I'm saying that sometimes you can pool resources. And that is something that we have to consider, pooling resources. And I'm saying that I have on my desk and a, a task that I'm doing, I'm pooling resources. This lady has the idea. She has the skill. She doesn't have the money. This other person also has it. That is where law then will come in. Because then we have to do paper. But you know what? Some people want to come and take the money from you, but they don't want to do paper. Oh, right. yeah, but my boss, yeah. And then when I get money, I will pay. When are you going to get the money? Mm. <laughs> I was in Singapore. And then uh, we had a conversation with some of these fintech, uh, you know. And they told us that in Singapore, this is their idea. Whenever they are giving you money, they are thinking of how they are going to get their money back. And so they always have to look at the two. In this country, when people are coming to take money from you, they are not thinking of when they are going to pay. It's all about just go take the money. <laughs> and so sometimes you get some of these people who are also hesitant. Right. Otherwise, you would find people who invest. Partnership, they will not draw a partnership deed. And so they will just go, oh, I have, look, I remember I had a conversation with a young entrepreneur, and then he said somebody was sponsoring them. I asked them, how, many, how much money has the person invested? They said, oh, we are not even sure. I said, ah, how can you be, not be sure? We must put every dime on paper. And for what purpose? When are you going to pay back? If the person is a partner, what is the ratio? Right. How much am I taking? I mean, these are things that people have done. And that is why we have developed such different cultures and entities. That is why we have partnership, we have companies, this company, this one, this one, joint, whatever. We have all those things to promote business. It is never the case that we can develop business with this attitude that, oh, young people want to, or older folks want to do business, and they want to do it all by themselves. 
The capital you have is your intellect. You have, you have dreamt about a business, but you don't have what it takes. Like Pharaoh, he dreamt. He didn't, he wasn't able to interpret. So who interpreted for him? Joseph. Then he realized that he didn't have what it took to implement what he uh, had been interpreted to him. So who did it? Joseph. Was Joseph a, 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 an Egyptian? No. He was a foreigner. Was he a member of the royal class? No. He was a slave. But that slave boy, who was a foreigner, had a capital. The capital was the ability to interpret the dream that Pharaoh had had. The dream was had by Pharaoh. Joseph was the one who could interpret. He was the one who could implement it. And so Joseph had that capital. Pharaoh had that capital. Let's put it together. And then everybody was going to Egypt to buy. That is how business sometimes work. So you could have your dream. Your mm. dream will get rotten in your mind. Cyrus too may know somebody that they can bring along. That is capital. You don't say that, oh, there, Cyrus, okay, in this country, we like doing things for free. Those of us who are in the business advisory sector, sometimes people come, oh, now I want you to review this document for me. Review for free. So oh, as for that, I can just look at this. Oh, okay, 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 it's okay. No, that's not, for, that's not how we do it. You want to value your business. Go to a valuer. Let them take small, chop small of your money so that you can have a comprehensive and reliable document that you can send to the bank. And then if somebody wants to give you money, then they know. You want money, they ask you, what are you going to use the money for? You haven't even gone to the market to ask of how much, for example, you want a studio. You don't even know the number of cameras that you want and even how much even the types of cameras, whether it should be Canon or uh, Sony or um, uh, Zenith, or then, then you just, oh, no, I need cameras. Oh, how much money do you need? You can't even do the breakdown. I'm saying that business should be done in a business-like manner, mm. scientific, empirical. That is how we should approach our businesses. You may have the dream. Pharaoh had the dream. He couldn't interpret it by himself. Joseph interpreted it. After Joseph had interpreted it, he didn't say that, oh, young man, you have done well. Take five cities and go. He said, come and let's work together. Come and implement it. And Joseph implemented the business such that Egypt became a superpower. It is in the Bible. Cyrus, is it not in the Bible? Of course it is. Yes. Mm. So you may have the idea. That is your intellectual capital. You are coming to me for money. Why don't you rather woo me, bait me, bait me, so that I can also be part of the business? If you have a board, I'll be a part of the board. I'll sit in so that we can all take the decisions. But you want to do it like you want to hide it in your corner. It is my own. I don't want anybody to come in. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. Let's go and ask all those people, the Bill Gates and uh, uh, whatever. Some of them, they will tell you they had to go to friends and family to get, you know, some of them, oh, let me use... This is your small, like you have a studio. Cyrus, you cannot record all the time. Turn this place to a recording studio for other people to come and also host their shows and then put on different platforms. That is also business, Cyrus. That is business. No, I've opened it to everybody. Yes, I've, yes. Done, I've actually done charge them an money. episode. Charge that, them money. No, I don't want to charge for even You have now. to charge No, no, money. hold on. That hold is on. business. You are using electricity. Listen, you are using listen, air conditioning. listen. We want... Business. Our business module is rather different. All right. Our, so for now, from it. now till December, we've okay. opened it freely. Uh -huh. for, from now till after, after December, December after then December. we monetize it. And that's what I'm talking ah. about. Exactly what I'm talking about. You are doing what my mother used to do. She will start selling kokonti. The first one week, everybody will chop for free. Exactly. But then subsequently. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So yes, there are people who know how to talk, but they may not know how to host a program, teach them, and take small, small money from them. Then you can build a <laughs> number of Cyruses who may also have their own platform. <clears throat> so as you talk about business, somebody will also be talking about nutrition. Somebody will talk about health. And then we get a lot of platforms. That is business. That is true. That is business. That is true. So Cyrus, 
Thank you so much for coming. I came to see you, to visit you. So this is just a visit.